Hey guys, today we're going to talk about trig limits using some formulas. So we have three formulas written out in blue up here and we're just going to fill out each of these limits. So first off, the limit as x approaches zero of sine of ax over sine of bx is equal to a over b. The limit as x approaches zero of tan of ax over bx is equal to a over b. And the limit as x approaches zero of cosine ax over bx is actually dNe, does not exist. So the reason why most of these work can be proved using the squeeze theorem, we'll talk more about that next year in AP Calc. Um, for now, we're just going to stick with these formulas and go with it. For number one, I have the limit as x approaches zero of sine of 5x over x. So I can see here that my a value is the 5. The b value is the coefficient of the x, that's 1. So my limit here is equal to 5 over 1, which is just 5. For number 2, I have the limit as x approaches 0 of 3 tan x over 2x. So my a and my b values here are 1 for a and then 2 for b. But I also have this 3 out in front. So this is going to be equal to 3 times 1 over 2. So my final answer here is three halves. In number three, I have the limit as x approaches zero of cosine three x over x. For a cosine ax over bx, this one is dNe. So those ones were pretty easy. Let's look at a couple that are a little bit more tricky. Okay, number four, the limit as x approaches zero of tan squared x over x. This doesn't look exactly like those formulas on the last page where it's in the form tan ax over bx. So I'm actually going to rewrite this so it matches that form that we were just talking about. So I can split up that numerator as tan x times tan x and make the denominator just go with one of those so that I have tan x over x times tan x. Now I can evaluate each of these limits separately. So for the limit as x approaches 0 of tan x over x, I can just use that a over b. So 1 over 1 is 1 times tan of x. And I'm just going to plug in a 0 for x. So times tan of 0. I know tan of 0 is 0 and 1 times 0 is 0. There's my limit for number 4. Number 5, same idea as 4. I'm going to split this up so it's one of the forms that I know. I'm not going to choose the cosine x over x because that's a dNe and I'm looking for an actual answer here. So I'm going to split this up so that it says the limit as x approaches 0 of cosine x times sine x over x. For cosine x, I can plug in the 0 for x. So I have cosine of 0. And then for sine of x over x, I know that's equal to a over b. And my a and my b values are both 1. So this limit is 1. 1. Cosine of 0 is 1, and 1 times 1 is 1. There's my answer for number 5. Number 6, I'm going to split this up as well. So I'm going to make this the limit as x approaches 0 of sine x over 3x. So that's in the sine of ax over bx times, now I'm missing a 4 sine x to complete what was up here, right? 4 sine x times sine x gives me 4 sine squared x, and then the denominator is 3x. So now I look at each piece individually. For sine of x over 3x, I know that's equal to a over b, so that's 1 over 3, times 4 sine 0. I know sine of 0 is 0, so this whole limit ends up being 0. So now we have two more formulas that we're going to look at. The first one is the limit as x approaches 0 of cosine x minus 1 over x is equal to 0. And the limit as x approaches 0 of 1 minus cosine x over x is also equal to 0. We're going to go ahead and prove this second one. So if I were to plug in 0 from the beginning here, I would have 1 minus cosine of 0 over 0. I know that cosine of 0 is 1, 1 minus 1 is 0. I end up with 0 over 0. Remember, we call that an indeterminate form, and that means we need to do more math to figure out this limit. So I'm going to rewrite what I had to start with. And what I'm going to do now is multiply the top and the bottom 
by the numerator's conjugate. So I'm going to multiply top and bottom by 1 plus cosine x. When I do that, I end up with 1 minus cosine squared x over x times 1 plus cos x. Using the Pythagorean identity, cosine squared x plus sine squared x equals 1, I can replace this 1 minus cosine squared with a sine squared. So now I have sine squared x over x times 1 plus cosine x. From here, I see the sine squared x in the numerator and an x in the denominator. So I'm going to start splitting this up so that I have a sine x over x type of formula that we used on the last page. So if I split up sine x over x, I'm left with sine x over 1 plus cos x for my second fraction. I can then start evaluating this limit. So I know the limit as x approaches 0 of sine x over x is equal to a over b, and my a and b values are 1. So that just becomes a 1. My second fraction, I start plugging in the zeros. So I have sine of 0 over 1 plus cosine of 0. I know that sine of 0 is 0. Cosine of 0 is 1. So I have 0 over 2, which is just 0 times 1 gives me 0. Let's do a couple of examples using these two formulas. First one, I'm going to split this up so that it looks like one of the formulas that we just talked about. So I'm going to write this as 4 times 1 minus cosine x over x. And then I can evaluate each of these individually. So the 4 stays, and then the limit as x approaches 0 of 1 minus cosine x over x is equal to 0. And 0 times 4 is 0. Number two, I'm going to split this up again so that I have one of those formulas that we just talked about. So I can split this into tan x over x times cosine x minus 1 over x. I know that the limit as x approaches 0 of tan x over x is equal to a over b, again where a and b are the coefficients in front of that variable x. So that's just 1 over 1. Cosine x minus 1 over x, if I evaluate that as x approaches 0, I get 0 from that formula we just talked about. So my answer here is 0. Last one, number 3, I'm going to split this up so that it looks like the formulas that we just talked about. So I have 1 minus cosine x over x times 1 minus cosine x. I know the limit as x approaches 0 of 1 minus cosine x over x is 0, and 0 times anything is 0. So there we go. Answer for number 3 is 0. That's it for evaluating trig limits using formulas. If you have any questions, feel free to leave them in the comments below. Have a great day.